One man and his family bringing a piece of Abilene's history back to life, repurposing the old fire station into an event venue. And as KRBC Jessica Rank shows us, it's just another moving part in a growing business. This building may not seem like much on a quiet day like today, but if you get a little closer, you might just catch a glimpse of the past of people that saw much louder days. It was their old central station, their old 91 dispatch. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are still in Abilene that started their careers here. The station that started it all, not just for the original guys, but for Doug Hickson himself. When I was in the fire academy, we used this building for search and rescue. You know, we had to crawl up on our knees up through the upstairs and all around and searching on your hands and knees on this concrete. Now taking the memories of the past and creating a new future for hundreds more in the key city. We planned on having this open to to the public to enjoy it as much as we do. There are plenty of event venues here in the key city, including right here at the Soda District Courtyard. And if we walk this way, we'll end up right here at the mill, which is another event venue. or even here at the Mesquite Event Center. We have a variety to choose from now, whereas five years ago, we may have had three or four. Which poses the question. I've had people say this to me, oh, Abilene has too many venues. Well, I don't think so. When a venue's booked, you're booked. And as an owner himself, Tim Smith has seen just how much the business has changed over the years. We're now booking people that don't even live in Abilene. And this new addition to the fleet is just another response to an ever-growing need. In Abilene, Jessica Rank, KRBC, Abilene's local news. Thank you, Jessica. Hickson says the old fire station is expected to reopen in mid-November.